Hello, how are you today? I am Hina from Team Tess. And as you know, we have started with this discussion of question answers for the upcoming GATE exam. Well, if you are interested to buy this exclusive book of question answers based on GATE, you can contact us on this number, 93878. 39871. In fact, we also have an online course and an online quiz program. Well, today's discussion begins with this question from African American literature. Let's read it. Question number one. In which novel do we find these lines? Who knows but that on the lower frequencies, I speak for you. Your options are A, Adventures of Huckleberry Finn, B, Invisible Man, C, The Old Man and C, or D, Murders in the Rue Morgue. Where do you find these lines? Tell me. Who knows but that on the lower frequencies I speak for you? You know it. Yes, 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 you do. The answer is option B, Invisible Man. Well, who wrote this novel? Ralph Ellison. When was it published? 1952. What is the theme of this novel? Racial prejudice in America. Well, with these lines, the narrator realizes that many of his readers may also feel invisible or they may have been rendered invisible by the society. Okay, you got it? Okay, let me tell you, there's another novel with the name of The Invisible Man. Do you know who has written that one? H.G. Wells in the year 1897. Perfecto. Can we move on to question number two? Here it is. Indian writers in English. Which of the following lines of T.S. Eliot is used by Anita Desai as the epigraph for her novel, Baumgartner's Bombay? Listen to the options carefully. Option A. I will show you fear in a handful of dust from the wasteland. B. In my beginning is my end from East Coker. C. Humankind cannot bear very much reality from Burnt Norton. Or D. I have measured out my life with coffee spoons from Love Song of J. Alfred Prufock. Tell me. Which of these lines, you know, from T.S. Eliot have been used by Anita Desai as an epigraph for Baumgartner's Bombay? Do you remember it? Yes, you do. The answer is, in my beginning is my end from East Coker. Well, if I talk a little bit about this novel Baumgartner's Bombay, it is a classic one from Anita. The protagonist of this novel is Hugo Baumgartner, who is actually a Jewish German, but because of the World War, he flees to India to that contemporary chaotic Bombay. Okay, and this novel is about the Holocaust era, obviously, a story about profound emotional wounds and exile. Yes, if you have time, you must read it because it is a very, very insightful book. You will love it. Yeah. Can we move on? Well, question number three. This is from Deconstruction. Identify the major works of Paul Demand from the following list. Your options are A. Blindness and Insight. B. Allegories of Reading. C. Theoretical Essays. Or D. Criticism and Ideology. Come on, do you remember it? Two groundbreaking works by Paul de Man. Yes, you know them. The answers are A and B. Well, here I have given you the full title of these books. The first one is Blindness and Insight, Essays in the Rhetoric of Contemporary Criticism. And B is Allegories of Reading, Figural Language in Rousseau, Nietzsche, Rilke and Proust. Well, do you know this? Paul de Man was a disciple of Derrida and he was actually an advocate of deconstructionism. Yeah, 
you do, you do know it, right? Well, if you like these question answers and you would want your own book of the same to crack the gate exam, you can contact us on the number 938783987. Okay, can we move on? Well, this is question number four, post-colonialism. France Fanon's Black Skin White Masks discusses Big, big options are there. So kindly keep your brain open. Not big oh, open, not literally, I'm sorry. <laughs> keep your mind open. But believe me, when, you know, the options are really long, the answer is pretty simple. Hmm? That's the trick. So the question says, Franz Fanon's Black Skin White Mask discusses option A, the failure of the Algerian anti-colonial movement. B, the author's experiences of anti-black racism in Martinique as a child and later with the free French forces during the Second World War. Third, the tortured relation between a defeatist sense of blackness and whiteness envy. Or fourth, how the native in colonial conditions harbors the deepest desire to master the language of the colonizer as the proof of his worth. Come on, tell me, what does black skin, white mask discuss out of these four options? Go through them carefully. You know it. Perfecto. The answers are B, C, D. Only A is not correct. Well, should I tell you a little bit about this book? It was written in the style of autoethnography. And it says that Color of the skin defines people's identity. Franz Fanon actually addresses that, you know, how non-white people are judged and culturally identified based only on the color of their skin. You know, that is what it is. The color of the skin defines who you are. And originally, Fanon wrote this book in French in the year 1952. It was later that it was published in English. It was translated in English. Okay? Right? And now we move on to the last question of the day. Question number five. Late modernist, okay? Which of the following is or are true? Option A. Point Counterpoint is a novel first published in 1928. B. It is Aldous Huxley's longest novel and was notably more complex and serious than his earlier fiction. C. He created a character called Mark Rampion, a writer and painter based on D.H. Lawrence, whom Huxley greatly admired. And D. It is a building's Roman. What do you think is true out of these four options for point counterpoint? The longest novel of Aldous Huxley published in the year 1928. Oh, yes. A, B, C are true. Only D is not true. It is not a building's Roman. Rest, everything is true. And I hope you understood a lot. You learned a lot. But then there is no ending to learning and understanding, right? Because of which I am going to come again we will discuss more question answers and you will do lovely in your upcoming exam. Well, as I tell you, if you're interested in buying our online course or in getting enrolled in the course, in fact, and buying the exclusive book for GATE or, in fact, an online quiz for the same, you can contact us on this number on your screen, 938783971. I am Hina from Team Test and it was great being with you. See you very soon. Bye.